Hey everyone, I'm Almar of AlmarsGuides.com and in this video here I'm going to be talking about a base location in Kenshi for Heng. So Heng is one of the Empire starting zones, you could consider it. I, I mean, uh, I guess teens zone would be more accurate to descri describe it because most of the enemies here are kind of in their teens. They have like stats, either like the outlaw farmers have stats in the teens, the ninjas that you encounter here, the desert ninjas, I'm pretty sure they're desert ninjas, they have stats in the 20s. Then you have those skimmer things that you see walking by right here. Skimmers have stats in the 30s and they're probably the biggest threat to you when you um, are settling down here. Unless you don't pay your taxes, then the biggest threat is the Traders Guild and the United Cities. Also, Manhunters have stats in the 30s, and they will bother you sometimes, depending on uh, how your characters are dressed, depending on if uh, they're an escaped slave, an ex-slave, or a slave. Slave traders are also going to mess with you too, depending on those things as well, depending on if you're a slave, ex-slave, or an escaped slave. Um, slave traders are also going to be one of the factions that will raid your base, and uh, if they successfully take you know, end your base and knock everybody unconscious. They are going to kidnap you and capture you as uh, slaves. So keep that in mind. Also, uh, before we start talking about other things, let me talk about this location in particular. You can see I am kind of in between Stoat, Heft, and Hanged. We're kind of like at a trifecta where it's kind of a, the same run from each location. I also have a building that I purchased in Hang because that's where I'm doing most of my uh, trader's leather crafting, which is my main source of income right now. My second main source of income is going to be this electrical crafting right here, which uh, we have two copper mines in the base, as you can see right here. They look like one copper mine, but it's actually two. You can see if I click on this one, zero out of two workers. Then if I click on this one up there, it's one out of two workers. It's because Tamaru is working on it. Or maybe Mechlin is working on it. No, Mechlin's working on the stone mine, which apparently nobody's doing anything with. So as far as what I am doing in this base, uh, I have some cactus farms, some wheat straw farms. It is 100% arid here. Let me show you the prospecting. Also, uh, stone is going to be a bit of a problem, as is water. But don't worry, you can still get stone and water here. This stone right here, I have 89 uh, efficiency for the stone over here, which is very, very good, actually. Uh, it's more than you need because stone only makes building materials, and you only need a limited amount of building materials. I have uh, a couple of wells built. Wells only have 21% efficiency in this area or 20% efficiency, which is very, very low. So you'll need to probably build more wells uh, than you would in other places. So keep that in mind. Also, make sure you shop around a bit when you're trying to plan out your wells for the best area. This is my bases. It's basically just a giant rectangle. We have one iron node wrapped in our base, two copper nodes. And, uh, like I said, it's 100% arid, so we can only grow wheat straw and cactus here. Ooh, actually, is there something else? No, I don't think there's anything else we can grow in arid. I think it's just these two. And the wheat straw we're going to be turning into grog at this uh, grog machine. And the cactuses we're using for chew sticks at the cooking stove. So those, uh, basically, we're, we're making more money and more food with, uh, with what we're doing there. There is, uh, you can have wind power at this base, as you can see. There is a decent amount of wind here, and as far as I'm aware, the wind does not stop. Uh, you're going to be bothered a lot at this base. That is the, probably the biggest drawback, I would, I would say, exi that exists with this base. You're going to have to deal with both the Traders Guild visiting you for taxes, as well as the United Cities visiting you for taxes. If you refuse to pay either of those taxes, they're going to raid your base and beat you up. And uh, a lot of the times after they beat you up, they'll throw you into slavery. So keep that in mind. Um, like I said, the Sand Ninjas are also going to bother you at this location. Slave Traders are going to bother you at this location. And if you've pissed off any other nearby factions, they'll probably bother you at this location too. Like if you've managed to spend a lot of time at Black Scratch and you pissed off the Reavers enough, they will send a raid all the way up here from the Outlands. Uh, it might not reach you. If they go through Gut, they probably won't reach you. But if they go around Gut, they're probably going to end up reaching you because the enemies on the way up here aren't that big of an issue. 
The desert bandits come from, or desert whatever they are, I think bandits, they come from, oh, desert ninjas, sorry. They come from like right on the other side of Spine Canyon in the Skin Sands. They will walk over here to the Hang Base. The slave traders come from South Stone Camp, and if they uh, if they win, you'll be enslaved and put into South, South Stone Camp, which is a, uh, a moderately hard one to escape from, in my opinion. It's better if you get put down at this slave farm down by gut, because then you'll get beak things that roam into the slave farm from time to time and uh, knock the guards unconscious, which makes it significantly easier to escape. But either way, if you get put into slavery, it's going to happen quite a bit when you're um, a member of the United Cities anyway. When you get put into slavery, ideally, what uh, will happen is you'll want to raise stealth, assassination, athletics, and strength. And also, you'll have to plan your future escape. Usually, that involves um, stealing food and putting it on the ground. That way, you can eat it when you're prepared to escape. However, that might not always work because there might not be all, there might not always be enough food. So you might have to bring another character in that isn't in slavery and uh, trade food to that character. And you, I pretty much you just have to wait for like the most opportune time in order to successfully escape. And that's really all there is to it as far as. Uh, this base goes. I'm trying to think of what else I can, sh what other information I can share with you about this base. Uh, yeah, that's really all I can think. There, you can, you can make this base more secure if you would want it. Although I don't really recommend. Uh, I don't really think that's required. Like one thing you could do to make the base more secure is make another gate, like up here, and then basically make walls that rope in that gate, so the enemies have to go through two gates. And then you just put like crossbow turrets along this wall and this wall. And that will, they will shoot at the enemies when they're basically at both gates. And that will take care of most of the enemies that you have to deal with. Here comes some ma manhunters right now, or slave traders. Manhunters. As you can see, they're about to enslave this guy right here who's crawling on the ground. This is the biggest threat, in my opinion, when you're in the United Cities territory, is dealing with manhunters, slave traders, and everybody else that's going to th uh, throw you into slavery. Slavery is a big, big deal um, for the United Cities factions. So, uh, one other thing that I can mention that I have not yet is, when you are first starting out a base in Hang, I would strongly recommend you beef up some securities. You can go to all of the surrounding towns and purchase mercenaries to help protect your base. Like this right here. That mercenary captain is missing a leg, so he got picked up. This guy used to be protecting my, uh... Really, there's only... That's funny. So, this will happen eventually. If you hire mercenaries to protect your base repeatedly over and over and over and over, sometimes the unit will get very, very badly injured. You can see this unit that I just purchased protection from. They only have literally two... Two mercenaries. That's who I hired to protect me. One is basically full health and good to go and the other one is the captain and he's missing a leg and has to be carried by the other mercenary who is basically full health and good to go so that was basically the a complete waste of eight thousand cats that i paid for those guys to protect my base and uh the only way to oops i don't want to send almar all the way over here the only way to remedy this is to uh you go to other towns like well, after you've bought all of the mercenaries and got them killed and hang go to stoke buy them all go to heft buy them all go to shobatai buy them all Bark, I don't think has any, but you can check there. And then you can also buy them in Brink or Black Scratch, although they may die when going through Gut, because Gut is a hell zone. But uh, if that ever happens and you ever run out of mercenaries, your best solution to fix that is to import game. That way you can restore all of the mercenaries. So if you need more information about the import game feature, check it out on uh, a lot of my other Kenshi videos, I talk about it, and I'm probably going to do like a very specific video that just talks about import game because this game, usually when you're doing a playthrough, you should import game a couple of times. It uh, This game is very, very buggy, and there's probably going to be things you want to fix or things you want to experiment with. Like if you destroy all of Hang, what happens? You can destroy all of Hang, see what happens, and then import game if you don't like it. But anyway, that's really all there is to it. Hopefully this video helped you guys out. Hopefully it shed some light on this location. If you guys want um, other base locations, check out my website, almartsguides.com, because I have tons of different base locations in many other zones. And aside from that, I will catch you guys around in future Kenshi videos. Peace.